Well, it's certainly been a difficult year. But for many of us, despite the fact we've missed being with our loved ones over Christmas, the season of hope, goodwill and sparkling lights has still managed to lift our hearts just a little. But now we're left with the cold, short days of winter. And before we know it, Lent will start. I must admit, I, for one, am not looking forward to giving up something at Lent. Things are difficult enough as it is at the moment, without having to go six weeks without chocolate. But the ancient practice of giving up during Lent is, of course, not our only option. In recent years, Christians have begun to be more creative about Lent. Rather than giving up, some have embraced giving to over Lent. We might make a donation to a charity each day or each week. And so the season becomes a, a time of generosity. Others have championed taking up over giving up. So we might commit to carrying out acts of kindness each day. And so the season becomes a time of compassion. Now, whether you intend to give up something, give to or take up, I want to encourage you also to open up this coming Lent. In my new book, Opening Our Lives, through engaging with story, film, music, humour, nature, I present six weeks of daily reflections designed to challenge you and encourage you at what will undoubtedly still be a difficult time for so many of us. Each day, the book will present a short Bible passage, followed by uh, a reflection and then some practical suggestion or exercise to get you living out your Lenten journey. The book is intended to be used for your own private reflection, perhaps at the beginning or end of your day, but it also works well being used within a, a study group. So you read your daily reflections individually before coming together, perhaps meeting on Zoom each week, to discuss the questions provided at the end of the book. Now, however you use the book, I hope it will help you open up this coming Lent, to open your eyes to God's presence in your lives, to open your ears to his call, to open your heart to his love, to open your ways to his will, to open your actions to his compassion and open your pain to his peace. Then, on Easter Day, I'll invite you to join a journey that we all take together, to open our world to God's hope.